Okay, pilots. I'm going to drill the holes in my canopy here and just go ahead and get it ready. I'm going to glue my pilot seat in, pilot. See if I got enough glue to do that. I cannot find no, it, it, it never fails. I need some, some uh, epoxy and every store it sells, it's it got a bit of, bit of I got a bit of, okay. Yeah. What I'm kind of want to do is just kind of, I'm not going to take no me uh, tape measure and measure and all that and everything. I just want to kind of get an even spacing in the drill bit. My glasses on. I just get it right dead center. Now this lane right here is not in the center. This this pane of glass here is smaller than this one. So this is not dead center here. I'm just trying to it's right in there somewhere the dead center looks to me. I've been working on props today. I'm going to show them to you here in just a second. And I've got questions. <clears throat> uh, I, I got a few there that have asked me questions on LEDs and things and everything, and I'll try to give them the best information I can, you know, of what my experience is of it with it but I've gotten into something here that I'm gonna need some help with oh, that's looking good right there but when I get my props they're the props for the F7F Tiger Cat FMS. And it has the little hub nut type of fastener, you know. But the mosquito has a spinner on it. So I've come up with something here. And on Dealing with props, you know, you got to be careful of your balance. You know, you can't just start cutting and drilling and whatever you got to do, you know. You got to be a little careful with that. Yeah, I got them kind of close because I wanted all of them in there. That's okay. That's okay. All right, I got my spots there. We'll, we'll, I'll show you here in just a little bit on the props. Let me get these drilled. I'll get my glue going. Drying. Just using a small drill bit. I'm going to try to go right in between my fingers, not into it. And don't get your drill going too fast now. You don't want to move around on you a little bit. Can't use the drill press to do this. <coughs> uh -uh. That's gonna be tough for her. Leave 
thick slag on the back. You got to go back and trim a little bit of that off. If you like me, you got 300,000 spare screws. Oh, well, again, it just don't want to stay up there. And you can use big wide head or three millimeter head or something like that, or you can use a small one. And sometimes when I do this, <coughs> I got sawdust all over. I use a black screw sometimes. If I have them, you I got, I've got motors and ESCs ordered, and I, and I got some motor mounts to make sure I got the right ones for the motor I'm using. I actually didn't see any motor mounts in the contents of the model. So I imagine you know, they let you have that option of whatever you want to use. I tell you, pilots, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with this model. I mean, it ain't one of them that you're going to screw together in, in, in a couple of hours. But, you know, you, you, you build a hundred of these things, and you kind of get bored with it, you know? So you got to have a challenge. I mean, everybody has to have something keep them sharp. thing I was going to do is I was going to paint them rim silver. I don't know what more the yellow is for, but you know, it might be, that might have been the way the wheels were. Well, I'm going to need to drill it into the canopy too. So put that back on there. touch up afterwards.
place over the back there that you can put the thumbs on the way a little bit. I get it all in the, in the inside of the rim there and let it run down. And then when I put it on his seat, it should run back the other way. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to sit in that disc right now. Let me get that seat in there. Right there. Yep, she's running right down there where I was supposed to be. Seat was my way for it. Let me get it straight here. Right, mix me up a little bit more and put on his back. So I'm gonna side that seat just to make sure it don't go anywhere. It's looking pretty straight. Pretty good there. <clears throat> All right, I'll let that dry. Ah, don't move. My cat, my decal. It's gonna stay stuck down right here at the top. If this epoxy melts it, <laughs> okay, get cleaned up here. say when she put my thigh leg on something. Ooh, that'll wake you up. <laughs> Alright, we're going to let that sit. We got our hose drilled. Now I'm going to show you my props. show you something on the engine cell here that I don't know how much of an effect it might be but like for your opinion my spinner's too small it's too small I should have got a maybe a four inch or maybe a three and a half inch but I got a three inch here all right now that's leaving a pretty good wall here I guess you could call it you know or my spinner's not lining up. Give me your opinions on that. I 
Like I said, I took FMS F7F props. Okay, now I've had to do some things to get it this way, pilots. I've had to do some things that could have disturbed the balance or it could just flat out not work. But what I've had to do to use these props is I've shaved the back. You can see where the nuts, now usually the nuts is inserted inside plastic, okay? But I've shaved that down using marks on the prop here. You can see the three levels there, the three little levels right here. Okay, you got your first level and you had your second level. Well, I sanded it through, you can barely see it touching that first level or, you know, so I would stop right there when I was sanding and I would barely touch that second level, okay? So this is flat, the nuts is put on it prop is together okay the spinner I had to drill the three holes in it there for the nuts to slide through and line up and that wasn't easy all right so the prop is going to fit in it and I can look in here in the back and I can spin my backing there and try it at each different nut until I get I can get it set where I got that whole dead center and lined up. Okay, so that's what I had to do. Okay. Okay. That allowed <clears throat> the spinner to fit on it. Turn a couple times. Yep, that's it right there. Okay, so we got a good tight fit all the way around. Now, the other thing I run into, let's see, this one's the right one. So this is a norm, this is a, a, a regular prop here. Got to keep spinning. I might have the wrong spinner. So you got different ones. Let's see if I can. Nope, that's the way it was supposed to be. Okay, but the cutting, the cut hole for the prop to come out the side, see how it's nice and rounded with the prop there on that one? Well, your reverse prop is different, see? So it's not gonna have that roundness the right way. And I'm wondering if that's gonna affect something. Let me get it here in the light where you can see it. Okay, you got me? You see what I'm saying? So that could be a problem. I got. I, I need a, opinions on that. I'm gonna put, you know, balance it. Make sure they balanced. <clears throat> I better let this sit for a little while, pilots, before I start trying to make sure when everything's lined up and canopy will go on. So. That's about all I got for today. We'll talk to you on the chat show tonight. I'm out.